Good morning to all traders and welcome to another Markets Waves video. Today is the 27th and as always we're going to have another interesting session. Uh, yesterday we saw some moves in the markets and it's time that we changed a little bit the uh, basket of uh, assets that we are uh, analyzing today. Uh, I'm not going to change the euro dollar, I'm going to keep that uh, maybe even on a daily basis to be honest, it's quite interesting to follow it at the moment as well. And we're going to have also a look at dollar against the Swiss franc, dollar against the uh, Japanese yen, dollar against the Canadian dollar. And Nasdaq is a dollar day, as you have realized. Everything is uh, against the dollar. Obviously, Nasdaq is an index, so, but still in the US. So um, let's get right to it and start off with the uh, euro dollar first. Yesterday, we talked about the possibility of moving higher um, after a pullback, if I'm not mistaken, and um, reaching uh, fresh highs. Obviously, that um, we, know, we, we did get a fresh high yesterday, obviously, but uh, before we, we uh, uh, recorded this video. Um, the correction is still in. Uh, it was under the impression we're going to get one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, that was uh, the change that I've made today in the account um, because that looked really as a five over here and as a two. And that, you know, I just don't like this three, four, and five because it's going into like uh, a successive. Uh, uh, shrinkage, shrinking of the of the waves as we go up, which is usually a diagonal thing rather than an impulse. So uh, that's why I don't like it. So uh, wave one down here, three, four, and five with an internal structure over here, yeah, as well. And now what we're seeing, we see the correction down. We've had waves A and B done, in my opinion, yeah, and um, we're expecting wave C. So um, for me. This is going to be one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And I'm looking down at 120.25, which is, oh, oh, let me just say up to, okay, or down to. That's the maximum. Why? Because if we look at the pink uh, uh, degree over here, which is the uh, uh, minuet, uh, we've got a leading diagonal here and two. Wave two corrected 78.6 Fibonacci. Uh, of wave one or near two. I mean, just a bit off, maybe 75%, which means now for the rule of alternation to be uh, respected that um, we're going to get a similar sort of correction down here, but only uh, difference is that we need to complete the rest of the 78, that's to fill it. So we're going to go down, in my opinion, around 25% uh, percent or so, okay? So, um, it be one, two, three, four, five, and we'll get the 25% around 120.50 and we'll move up. Or we can go down to like the maximum of 120.25, which is the 38.8 point, uh, 38 point of But I doubt this is going to be the case, guys, because to me, I mean, I know it's one candle, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's a bit of um, uh, like happened within an hour and it's a bit of uh, like uh, price didn't really remain here. That's the only reason I think, you know, we might get prices to go anywhere between these two levels rather than gross into the 78, which would give us like a 12%, uh, sorry, 22% or something, which pretty much already happened, right? Um, now, unless if this is one, two, three, four, and five, then most likely that is A, B, and a C. It would be very nice to see also a rejection at the bottom channel over here of the uh, lower degree move, which is the black one, yeah, sub minute. Um, that would also uh, be a good uh, re uh, retest for uh, an upside, for the continuation of the upside that is going to look uh, first around 121.81 and then 122.36. That will be, in my opinion, just for wave three, and then we're gonna get uh, four and five above these levels perhaps looking at 123, 26 as well, where uh, minor wave one uh, could end. Now, obviously, as I said before, updates on a nearly every day, and uh, based on the euro dollar is the most important pair to keep an eye on, as you well know. Dollar against the Swiss franc. Um, we looked at, last time we looked at dollar against Swiss franc, I was looking at this as an A, B and a C. Um, well, obviously that was one, two, three, four, and five, but with that corrective move over here, 
uh, well, it looks like to me that perhaps we might get an A, B, and a C. Yeah. And um, because this is corrective, it's not impulsive. So have, having done five waves down and moving up correctively, it means that, um, well, either we didn't finish the, the move on the downside, so this is going to be a, a, some sort of more extended, but I don't think that's the case, or we're going into a correction. To me, this is an ABC. This is an ABC with a very nice false break, and that could be the one, two, three, four, and five that um, we could see around 0 0.92, 43, 55 or so. That would be an expanding flat scenario. Also, we've got the scenario of the running flat, uh, but in my opinion, and since we see this as wave one being done pretty much, uh, well, I don't think wave three will be like something like this and then four and five, I don't know. It looks a bit off, to be fair. Um, now, once we get the B, then we're going to get the C. But uh, for the um, short term guys, and uh, also looking at the at the uh, MACD and the RSI here, we get a very nice, I, would, I don't want to say clear, I don't want to use that word, very nice uh, signal from both indicators for an upside move. And I do think this is going to be an expanding flat or any type of flat, to be honest, of the irregular type. If that is not the case, what we could see, we could see something like, you know, one, two, this is like A, B, and that's going to be like, you know, W, X, and Y. Uh, so that would be something like W, X, and Y. Yeah. And that means that this is one and two, and we're going to start moving higher. But we will never find out before the 92.43 in that scenario. Okay. Now, dollar against the yen, similar scenario, but due to the structure here, there is two, well, I do still see more downside before we get the upside. As you can see, also on the RSI, we've got, and the MACD, we've got two very nice confirmed signals. Um, however, where we go different here is the fact that we've had a low in and we don't have any issues with, you know, seeing a correction over here or whatever. So this looks impulsive. So if we've got the one and two, and it looks like to me that's one, two, when I get three, four, and five. Um, so uh, that is very likely an A, B, and a C. I want to see that going to, well, perhaps even up to the 109, uh, if, you know, if we want to consider that as a nice uh, pullback, to be fair, in uh, wave three. Uh, but, you know, it could, it could be a case where you would just finished here as well, and we're just going to move lower. And then we're either going to move up in a five wave move to complete five or it's going to be a case where that could be a w then we're going to get an abc one two three uh, and an abc again wx and y similar scenario to the dollar against the swiss franc however and as you uh, well remember just a few minutes back i'm looking at more upside here for the um, uh, for the uh, dollar against the yen and not more upside more of a clear uh, upside let's just say because we're moving impulsively um, in that wave and in that wave, which means most likely we'll have an ABC. Okay, so I'll be expecting to see where the RSI and the MACD are going to give us uh, some sort of indication over here. You know, this is a tiny one so far, you see. Um, but, you know, in case we break above that level, then we're going to receive a new signal over here over the next few days. So be prepared to, to look for that one. If not, uh, well, as I said before, you know, four is here. Uh, and we're going to get down there with a fresh low. Perhaps we get to 106.75. This is the 50 Fibonacci. But I would doubt, actually, what we can do since we're here quickly, and then we'll jump to the next one. A, B. Look at this. Uh, 161. 106.78 okay very close where is the 100 fibonacci 108 we already done it and then what do we need 1382 107 so 107.25 to 106.75 i know 50 pip range is big but this is where i'll be looking for uh potential well i, I don't want to say reversals but at least a continuation on the upside either for a correction 
offer reversal. Now, dollar against CAD. Uh, well, last week we identified a very nice signal. We said we're going to go up, and we did that, and we did it exactly as we expected. And now we've got one and two. And we're going to get the three, the four, and the five, in my opinion, of course. Yeah? Do we see anything on the MACD and RSI? At the moment, we don't really need to uh, see anything. And the, the truth is that we don't really need to see much because we've turned negative. Everything is negative. The RSI is negative. The MACD is negative, and we see no signals for a uh, move on the upside. Now, uh, which means not that the indicators are useless, but it's just in that case, we we'll just want to focus on price action because we had a big breakout. So what are we looking here? We're looking for the uh, 123.57 and then the 121. Yes, you heard me right, 121. This is like 220 pips move uh, from one level to the other, I know, but this is where I'm expecting that to end because if we take the long term uh, Fibonacci extension that I took, we are getting down to minor wave three. Okay, and I wouldn't want to see minor wave three ending at 38 point to Fibonacci extension. It just doesn't make much of um, doesn't no I wouldn't say sense it's just not seen often okay six to one point more often obviously because we want the one the two the three the four and the five we want the three to be sixty one point eight at least yeah of wave one and two so uh, well the other scenario will be just you know we'll just finish here and start moving higher but for these guys I will be really looking at the indicators and indicators so far show a continuation to the downside because they don't show any other signal which means they support the downside because the markets it's uh, the markets are bearish and uh, nasdaq we haven't looked at this one i think for uh, maybe a couple of weeks one two, what did i change um we were looking at this as three if i'm not mistaken and this as four over here and we were looking to 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 uh, hold on three and yeah that was the three over here and the four and we're looking for upside if I'm not mistaken now obviously with this uh, thing over here this structure uh, forming you know one two three four five a recount that's an open open ending diagonal call it whatever you want and then we've got the uh, four down here and we're moving up one two three four and five that will be one then we're gonna get two then three then four and five. 1440, the 4 and the 5, 1485, 82. This is where we'll be expecting that move on the upside to finish, which is also where I expect the cycle, uh, bullish cycle to end, and then we're going to get a correction uh, in the medium to long term. Now, um, if we look a little bit closer here, guys, we haven't really broken above the previous high, 1408. Obviously, we've got a very natural uh, correction over here. I think we're going to get another correction, perhaps after the break, which be, is going to be much more preferable because, you know, we're going to get a, a retest perhaps here, which is going to validate the move to the upside. But we could get it now, like a very short one. Yeah, we could get like something like that. And then boom, break on wave three, impulsive wave three. And we're looking at 14.40. Okay. Uh, well, the other scenario would be that we're just going to get up here a tiny bit and we're going to finish three and then we're going to get down to four for a double bottom and then R5 at 1440 and five is going to be short. I mean, in general, generally speaking, that, that move on the upside is going to end closer to the 14K rather than the 15K. That's all I'm saying. So, guys, this will be all for the day. Thank you very much for watching. In case you like the video, click the like button, subscribe, turn your notifications on so that you don't miss another of the daily updates. Uh, well, if um, anything uh, changes, we'll be here again tomorrow. If you want to leave a comment, if you have an alternative scenario in mind, please do not hesitate to leave that on our YouTube section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks very much again, and we'll speak again tomorrow.